You've asked for it, we're delivering it. How to pull like Sergi Busquets. This simple fundamental technique will take your ability to handle pressure to the next level. How is this effective? Being able to pull the ball back, use the bottom of our feet, especially for midfielders, Busquets finds himself in a lot of tight situations, right? Where he's under pressure, maybe doesn't have a ton of space. Great way to protect the ball and you're able to change directions with it really quick as well, which I think is huge in the middle of the field. So we've broken this down into two parts. We have easy and normal or hard. Stick around, watch the whole thing, see if you can do all of these that Sergio Busquets does. Let's go. All right. Okay, so the first thing is going to be working in a V pullback with your dominant foot. So because we're right footed, we're gonna start with our right foot. So in order for us to start, we're simply going to put the ball on the left side of what we're working with. In this case, our cone. You can have mannequin, a shoe, sock, backpack, or don't even have one. It's honestly totally fine. But you gotta be able to draw the picture that you're moving the ball from left to right. So first thing, we're gonna simply catch the ball with the bottom of our foot, but make sure it's not the whole foot where the center of the foot goes on top of it. We gotta make sure we catch the ball almost with the tip of our toes. And then from here, we're gonna bring it back and then we push it with our inside. Then we're gonna repeat with our non-dominant foot this time. So left foot on top of the ball, same thing, we wanna catch it with our toes, pull it back gently and push it out gently with our inside. Now there's a way for you to do it where you push the ball out with the outside and I'm simply not a big fan of this and I'll tell you why a little bit later when we get to the harder version of it. But yeah, we're not gonna do it with the outside like this. We're gonna do it with our inside again. So we pull and push, pull, push. We're gonna start by very slow actions here. Catch it and push it. Catch it, pull it, push it. Catch it, pull it, push it. Very, very simple. So as we get used to it, we're gonna go a little bit faster, staying in the rhythm. Catch, pull, push, catch, pull, push, catch, pull, push. One and two. See how fast you can go whilst keeping a precise technique of moving the ball. Just get used to that rhythm precisely. Now, a little tip here is going to be, we're not just going to catch the ball with our plant foot close to it here, because that's not going to give us much room of our pulls. If I am playing against a defender who is maybe size of Ben's, and if I'm, or even myself actually, at six foot, right? If he wants to pull the ball and I've got long leg to come in, chances are the ball's gonna get caught and you're gonna lose it. So we wanna make sure that our plant foot is further away from the ball where we are almost reaching for it. And then that way we have more room for us to pull the ball back. Look at this. Right, so the further you pull it back, more effective your V pullback will be. Away from the defender's reach. So get used to this motion. You wanna reach and catch the ball at the maximum point in terms of distance away from you and as deep as you can. And then you push it out, redirecting the ball with the inside. Okay, so that's as simple as it gets. What's next then? So now we're gonna pull it back to our opposite foot. So this one will start with the ball a little bit on the right side, and I'm gonna pull it back with my right foot towards my left, and then touch out. Same thing this way, left foot, back to my right, and then touch out. Again, take it slowly when you initially start. Just wanna get used to the motion, the technique, and keeping it precise. Left foot pull, right foot inside push, right foot pull, left inside push, one, two, and catch, one, two, and catch. As you do this, sometimes you just might notice when as you're pulling the ball, this, say for example, I'm pulling the ball with my right foot here, and sometimes you just might witness this ball gets caught or touching my left foot here. That's because you're not getting out. That is because you're not getting out of the way quick enough. So this means that when you pull it, pull the ball towards your plant foot and then get out of the way, then push the ball. Pull, get out of the way, push. Pull, get out of the way and push. So get used to this motion again, pull it towards your plant foot, get out of the way and then push it gently with inside. 
Again, try and maintain that low body shape. Bend your knees so slightly. That's going to give you more balance, help you with the rhythm and faster executions of precise technique. The more you pull it back, the better it's going to be. Get out of the way, then push. Get out of the way and push. Get out of the way and push. Right, so the third and the last one is going to be a V pullback, but this time it's going to go behind you, behind us, and then we're gonna catch it. So again, the step, put the ball on the right side or you know, to your dominant side, and then you catch the ball with your dominant foot. In this case, my right foot. I'm going to pull it behind me, and then I'm gonna push it so it can get out to my left. Now the key thing here is going to be my right foot after I pull it, do not touch the ground. Also, it's not a one motion where you're jumping with a plant foot. Stay on the ground, pull, hang in the air, push, then step and catch. So again, pull, push, catch. If you wanna just work on your dominant foot, then from here, you can simply roll the ball across and bring it back so you can repeat the technique. Pull, push, catch, roll across, then I repeat again. One, two, and three. Roll across, catch, one, two, three. Continue. Now, sometimes you just might notice where the ball is going to, maybe, as you try and push it out, it just might hit your plant foot. This means that you haven't pulled it enough. Pull the ball more, then push the ball, then catch it. Another thing that's going to be important, sometimes you just might see this ball coming out sideways, not exactly where you want the ball to come out. That's because of your body shape. Make sure your body shape is in an angle, so that way the ball comes out to where you wanna go. So think about it this way, right? Say I'm facing forward, and I do the same technique. Ball comes out to my left. Well, how do I get it out this way? Very simple. I'm facing forward, ball goes out this way. All I need to do is change my body shape so then the ball is going to go nicely. You see that, right? So it's all in the body shape. Change your body shape, pull, push, catch, roll across, pull, push, catch. Next one is going to be, can we work on our non-dominant foot? So again, now we go pull, push, catch, just reset, keeping it easy, work on the other side. One, two, catch. Change your body shape, one, two, catch. One, two, catch. As you get used to this, then you can go one, two, catch, one, two, catch. You might even go backwards, one, two, catch. Right, so the hard one is going to be same V pullback. We're gonna maximize the depth of our pullback. So instead of just the technique, we're gonna focus a little bit more on our body shape. Instead of our hips facing forward and moving the ball in this manner, what we're going to do is we're gonna focus a lot on the rotation of the hips as we pull it back. So if I'm pulling the ball, so the ball's on the left side, I'm pulling the ball with my dominant right foot. As I pull it, it's not just my leg that is moving, it's also my shoulders, it's also my hips. That needs to go together and then get out. That's gonna help you to pull it even more on the V pullback. So give it a go. Pull as much as you can, open your body as much as you can, rotate, then push it out. So deeper you can go, the better it's going to be. So no matter how tall or aggressive that defender is, I can then get away from that reach. It doesn't matter, he might be a pure crouch. I'm still getting away with this touch. When you pull it aggressive enough, all you need to do is let the ball just gently hit your inside. It's going to come out nicely, just redirected. So I'm not trying to hit the ball. I'm just letting the ball hit my inside and it just bounces out nicely. Yeah. Frank, you think the, the deeper you can get comfortable pulling it, probably the more effective this is gonna be, right? Absolutely. In the midfield, Sergio Busquets playing the six, one, two players closing you down really quickly. That deep stretch of the pullback immediately will help you. Look at my body shape from here. Yeah. If the defender's coming in from there, right in front of me, 
naturally I can get it across. So the reason why we want to pull it back is to protect the, ball. protect the ball. Exactly. So Frank, what's the next one? It's going to be left foot on the left side of the ball. So we can pull it back using both feet to get out. So we're not just using one foot to move the ball. We're going to maneuver the ball using both feet. Pull and push. Again, same thing. Turn your hips, turn your shoulders. Let the ball travel across your body and touch the ball as late as you can. Delay that touch and then you get out. Delay and push. Let the ball travel across the body and control. That's it. So again, deeper we pull it, more effective it'll be. Let it travel across the body. Make sure your plant foot gets away. Getting out of the way. Let it travel across. Then you come to a catch. We're gonna work on a scenario where a defender, the opponent, is anticipating for me to move the ball from one side to the other. In that case, we're going to show our body shape opening up, but actually cut back inside to where we came from. My plant foot doesn't necessarily move. It's opening over the body and then cut with the inside. And then repeat, pull, push. So it's like a pull, cut with the inside. There we go. So again, can we pull it as much as we can? One, two. Pull as much as we can, then cut. When you cut the ball, you just want to make sure that ball is nicely coming out in front of you for your next action, so your second touch can come out much easier. So next variation is going to be the V pullback behind, but we're going to connect it with another pullback, but that's going to be in front of you. I'm pretty sure you have seen this move before. Professionals use it quite often. I think the biggest player for this, for me, was Adult Rap. I'm not sure if you remember him, but very, very clever, technically unreal. Adult Rap. Look up his name. V pull back behind, immediately catch it. From there, pull it back towards your plant foot, get out of the way, and then you push. So the total steps will be one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Getting low is going to help you massively on this one as well. And sometimes you can also have different tempo, different ch uh, change of speed within the move. So I just might go, as a defender reads my play, I just might go slow, so I give him a little time to change his direction, change his body shape, and as that is happening, then I can accelerate with my technique. On this one, as you're doing it, you just want to make sure you see defenders, the opponent's body shape. As that turns, that's your cue to execute the next one, two, to change direction again. So slow, Fast, slow, fast. All right, last but not least, it's going to be V pull back behind and cut with the inside of the other foot. That's it. So again, we're trying to read the defenders. There's no defender here, but picture it in your head. Defender's body shape and we gotta cut it across. And just sometimes, it's, it's, it's nice to learn this technique because your touches or your decisions might not have been the best choice you need to desperately recover. You gotta be flexible, right? That's it, I'm recovering it, yeah. exactly. Bringing the ball back into my, my radius yeah. and pr protecting the ball. Yeah. One, two, cut. Same thing, just have a good setup. One, two, cut, catch. Yeah. One, two, cut. Okay, so those weren't everything, but a lot of the technique that Sergio Busquets will use and some of the variations from it. Right, so the next thing is going to be, we're gonna try and uh, shadow defending, and then I'll give you a little bit more demonstrations of how we can apply this technique in more of a real life situation. Let's get going. Do it. Yeah.
see ya. Okay, so the key for this technique is to make sure actually let the defender come a lot closer to you. So if you watch his game or highlights very carefully, you can see that he's waiting almost until the defender gets a lot closer to him so that when he executes the technique, he can then get his body across. As we know, Busquets might not be the strongest player, but by keeping his body in between the ball and the player, it practically becomes impossible to get dispossessed. And from there, he's using his tall frame with the long legs to help with the distance and the length of the pullbacks. So there you have it, guys. Some different combinations that Busquets likes to use. Um, obviously, he uses some other ones as well. So go check out some Busquets videos on YouTube. If you guys see any other combinations you really like from him, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Any other players that you'd like to watch and learn, leave a comment. Keep on leaving us comments because, again, this video originated from one of your comments. So thank you very much for leaving the comment. Again, let us know what, you'd what you would like to learn, what you would like to watch from us, what you would like to um, have us cover. So again, thanks for watching. Fundamentals is high performance, so keep working on your basics. See you guys Well soon. done. Nice. Oh hey, you're still here. Well then let me give you a bonus. Did you know that you could also do a V pullback with a croquetta? So inside, inside, but all you need to do is bring it back towards your plant foot and then bring it out with the opposite. There, Oop. one, two. So again, turn your body, bring it back and push out. Get used to the motion. One, two, drag it across the body. Don't kick it, you drag it across the body and then you push it out. Simple as that.